This is a video on how to turn a hand-drawn sketch on paper into a digital vector image which you can resize without losing any quality of the sketch. So first you need to take a picture of your hand-drawn sketch on paper but I already done that because uh, it's actually not my sketch. I was sent this sketch by Eva, who is a talented artist. She made this drawing on a piece of paper and she messaged me the picture and I wanted to turn it into a vector image so that it can be editable on the computer or on the phone and add some more drawings or uh, color it or put it in a composition with a different background or another image. So I already have the picture, now I need to turn this picture of the hand-drawn unicorn into a digital vector image. A vector image is in this case much better than just uh, having a picture taken because a vector image you can resize the sketch without losing the quality of the image itself but this you only can do with the, the technical drawings or sketches but you wouldn't be able to do this for example with a picture of a painting or a photo of a landscape the easiest images to turn into vector are which have clear outlines okay so first if you don't have it yet you need to download and install adobe capture it's a free app from adobe which allows you to turn photos into vector images which you later can edit on another app so let's do that first so I already captured that picture, but let's do it again just to show how it works. So we press on the plus sign below here, and then we look for the image file in our image folder, in this case the camera roll. So I already have it here in, inside. So this lever you can use to adjust the details that you want to include in the vector image so in this case i want to exclude the lines on the paper so i make it uh, lighter so i pull lever to the left like this i think this is good enough and then i press the check mark button and then now you can remove things that you don't want in the picture so for example the lines below here I just use the rubber tool to get rid of the lines like this and also here on top and to get rid of that and the line over here okay and then now you also can crop the image if necessary like here I make it a bit uh, shorter because to remove the white space below and on the top so I have a nice a rectangle and then smooth here will allow to make the lines a bit smoother so now it's off but if I turn it on it will calculate and make the lines automatically smoother so it looks more natural and less like a copy from an image but it might take some time because it uh, uses uh, quite a lot of computational power now it's done so if you are happy with the result you just click on save and then you can give a name such as unicorn sketch click done and now it's saved in the adobe cloud what i forgot to mention is uh, the first time you use adobe capture you need to log in with a free adobe online account you just have to register by email and select the password and you can use the app by logging in with your adobe 
account. So once I already have it uh, captured as a vector image, to edit it further, I need to use uh, another app from Adobe called Adobe Draw. So in case you haven't installed that, you need to install it first. It looks like this, Adobe Draw. And then you again click on the plus sign and then select a resolution. I choose the largest resolution, which is the iPad Pro resolution in landscape. And then we want to import the vector image that we just did earlier. For that, we need to choose um, this icon on top and then choose my library and then select the imported vector image. And then you can choose where you want to, which location you want to put the vector image. And when you're happy with the positioning, you double tap, then you have it on one layer. And in case you don't want to add another one, you just tap on the cross button. And then now, as you can see, you can zoom in and out of the image, but the quality always remains the same. So it won't get more blurry or less good quality. So that's the advantage of a vector image. You can multiply the size without losing the quality of the image. This is especially uh, useful for sketch designs. So now you also can add uh, multiple layers. You can do anything with this picture. Wait, I didn't want to do that, so I click the back button. So now, for example, if you want, you can add uh, more colors. For example, if you want to add uh, Let's say you want to uh, fill in here, I think it's the eyebrows. You, you might want to choose a color, for example, let's say a yellow color, like over here. And then if you want to fill this entire space with yellow, you just put your finger on it and hold it until it's full. Otherwise, you use the pen like normal for coloring. For example, here is the size. If I make, if I choose it bigger, then the the pen size will be bigger. And then, when I make a line like this, it will be like that. And to undo it, you just do click the back button over here. So when you want to fill a space, the space must be closed. So this works because it's a closed space. If you fill an open space, for example, if I fill this space with, uh, with color, then all the space which is where there's an opening will be colored in the same color. Okay, let's choose another color just to, as an example. So let's say I want to fill uh, this area with blue color. If I do that and fill it up, then the whole area which is open here will be filled in that color. And you might not want to fill the whole area with that color. So you need to either make a closing. For example, I will close that area with a, a black color. Let's choose black and the pen size is maybe smaller. So I just go in and then I close that area. So now it's closed. And if I fill it up with a different color this time, the color stays inside that area. We can color some more, for example, here you can fill out some more colors. You can fill this out with the different colors. And you also can add more layers. For example, let's say I want to add another background 
to this sketch. I just click the plus sign over here and select another image layer and choose from where, in this case from, from my phone. For example, I choose this picture. I click, uh, I can resize it and change the positioning. And click done. And then as you see now that image is in the foreground, but if I want to put it in the background, I just uh, hold this and pull it down. No, that was too far down, down there. I also can change the opacity so it's not so so obvious. So the foreground sketch is more clearer. I actually think the other, the image of the sunset is more fitting. So I'll just delete this layer and add a different image. Then I also can change the opacity over here. And then now if you want, you can just uh, edit this uh, picture to your liking. And then if you want, you can export the image to your camera roll. Save image. And to hide the different layers, you just double tap. There you have the result. So that's how you turn a hand-drawn sketch into a vector image and import it to your photo editor. In this case, Adobe Illustrator Draw. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.